The Electoral Commission of Namibia is laying the groundwork for the regional and local authority elections to take place in about five months' time. The gathering thus reviewed the ECN's proposed calendar, starting from now with various stakeholders' engagements up until the supplementary voters' registration. Chairperson Advocate Notemba Shipoya says the Commission strives to ensure a free, fair and credible election, hence the consultations. We want to make it categorically clear that the ECN is under no illusion that conducting elections again under the present circumstances will be an easy task. We, however, believe that this country can hold successful elections if everyone complies with the relevant regulations and requisite health precautions and if all electoral stakeholders play their role to ensure the safety of all involved. She reiterated that electronic voting machines would be used as per the Supreme Court order during the November elections. The court burnt the use of EVMs without a verifiable paper trail audit system, but Advocate Chipoya maintains that the system is too costly. The Chief Electoral and Referendum Officer, Tio Muyoro, explained some of the measures adopted to help curb the further spread of COVID-19. Our strategy will be aligned to the national guidelines. In other words, we are simply piggybacking on measures that are already enforced. So uh, 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 it, it's not uh, the Electoral Commission saying people should wear their masks. It is the national guidelines. All of us must uh, uh, comply with that. But of course, when you come to our processes, you will encounter more stringent measures depending on the particular event or activity. The ECN leadership will meet with officials of the Health and Social Services Ministry to discuss the proposed measures.